Hey guys, this is Lazy Stone here, and today I'm going to be talking about an important topic right now. Uh, and it's not an important topic, it's more like a breaking news type shit. If I was ever trying to, you know, uh, tell the news, uh, say the news as a news anchor, basically. Uh, right now, uh, unfortunately, Deller's channel on YouTube got hacked by some cryptocurrency advisor. Uh, motherfucker doesn't know uh, what the fuck he's going for right now. I, I don't know why he would do something like this. In fact, that Deller went through ups and downs in his lifetime, and especially the fact that he uh, went through a lot of uh, psychological issues. Not like you know he's mentally ill or anything. It's just that you know maybe he was uh, depressed at some point because, uh, of course, he did talk about how um, Twitch basically. Uh, banned his channel. Uh, well, I don't think he banned or terminated his channel, but basically uh, he wasn't able to make uh, Twitch streams anymore or was able to stream at all at some point. So he moved on to YouTube in order to make some cash. And of course, it worked well for him because he is now hitting 813,000 subscribers. The fact that this guy would just step in and try to take his audience just so they could understand what cryptocurrency is or the fact that he was trying to teach his viewers about cryptocurrency is just a net, just a nasty, negative, most degenerate shit I've ever seen in my life. I mean, think about it. You must be down bad to the fact that you have to hack somebody else's channel and think it was easy enough to breeze through a fucking person's channel, a hardworking person's channel, a person who made perfect content, re reaction channels who respect this guy. They would, you would just go out of your way just to hack somebody's channel just for what? Just so you could get people to understand what the fuck cryptocurrency is. This guy is so fucking like degenerate. It's unbelievable. I mean, the fact that you would just go out of your way to steal somebody's livelihood, something that they've d done for like 20 years. He's been playing FPSs for 20 years, uh, Deller. And, and now that you're just stealing his channel just for 15k views by the time this video is going to be uploaded it might be in a different number but of course his fans just caught wind of this by the time uh there was an upload of a stream or that this stream that was for an hour by the way was all about cryptocurrency which was something the opposite of what deller does and it wasn't deller at all it was just somebody else he might have had a british voice at some point i didn't want to listen to him because what he was doing was completely disgusting degenerate and it was just something that you despicable just something you couldn't be you know known for doing if you were trying to be doing youtube big time this guy was trying to steal an audience just by making his own company out of cryptocurrency or probably worked for a company i don't give a fuck this guy is just a douchebag in general he's a complete fucking dick all he tried to do was basically get a fucking attention just by grabbing somebody's hard-working channel again deller is a very talented uh streamer uh, the way he works with video games is just, you know, hilarious. I mean, he rages. I mean, he's pretty much up there with the ragers like uh, Linden FPS or T Thump. These guys are complete fucking screechers. They're, they they would scream out of their fucking lungs just so they would make a point about how unfair these FPS games are nowadays. And that wouldn't make sense because, you know. Sometimes the games don't really reward you for being that good <laughs> if we're talking about Call of Duty, of course. But anyways, yeah, uh, let me not digress. Uh, my favorite streamer, of course, is Linden FPS, by the way, and T-Thump as well. So yeah, Deller is one of the greatest uh, streamers out there. I mean, I wouldn't say he would be the greatest because there are some people who would go against my opinion saying that Tifu might be the greatest. And that's fine. I mean, again, he does have his average amount of viewers, but uh, in general, you know, Deller is just making his own content. He's living La Vida when, his, when it comes to just, you know, uh, making money and being able to, you know, basically manage himself. So again, he did well for himself. Now he's going through some other bullshit. I hope he's able to uh, counter that idea that the fact that somebody's a... Uh, uh hacking his account and he should pretty much let youtube know i hope the guy whoever i mean youtube partners know but i hope the guy whoever um basically hacked his account gets fucking ip banned from youtube i think that would be the most probably the most appropriate penalty for this guy i mean you're gonna make a YouTube channel. I mean, he didn't make a YouTube channel. He basically stole a YouTube channel. He probably has a YouTube channel. Saw it didn't do good. 
took another guy's channel and said, fuck it. I'm going to make my fucking money out of this guy's hard work and dedication. That has nothing to do with cryptocurrency, by the way. So I don't know why the fuck he would thought it was a good idea. So hopefully he gets IP banned from fucking YouTube. I don't know how that's happened. That's going to be, well, you know, possible. But uh, I hope he gets some type of penalty that restricts him from making a fucking YouTube channel. And the fact that he's able to do this type of shit... Letting him off with a fucking warning isn't going to help out at all. Think about it this way. If we let him off now, there's no telling who the fuck else he's going to fucking hack. And hopefully this motherfucker learns his lesson by staying the fuck out of the YouTube partnership and YouTube program itself. Hopefully he will never be able to make content to teach people how to make fucking cryptocurrency. Again, cryptocurrency, making cryptocurrency is like a fucking struggle. It's nothing fun at all. It's basically the hardest shit you could ever put yourself into. Because one thing for sure, you need to go get a fucking machine that knows how to fucking solve formulas. You got to do all this bullshit. And now you're trying to say that thanks to your fucking idea of taking other people's channels just so you can make a fucking living out of it doesn't make you more successful. It makes you look like a piece of shit. So, uh, sorry, I had a heater on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, again, um, this was very terrible. This is terrible for somebody who wants to be a guru of teaching people about cryptocurrency. And, uh, of course, this is pretty bad. Uh, I wouldn't even, I again, this guy is just trying to sell and he's not doing a good job of it. It's a bunch of 18 year olds, 17 year olds, trolls, people who probably are adults, but are smart enough not to waste their fucking time and money into something stupid like your fucking stream. Again, uh, Cardano Foundation, whatever the fuck you're supposed to be, please get the fuck off of Deller's channel so they don't fucking find your ass and then ip banned you but you don't give a fuck you probably still are on the fucking dollars channel and you're still trying to get some fucking attention so i hope you enjoy the attention and the fact that you got in one of my favorite streamers fucking youtube channel is the most despicable shit i've ever seen in well not in youtube history but again it's just the most despicable shit ever i mean now i'm stuck subscribed to this piece of shit even though i unsubscribed to his fucking channel but e either way yeah uh <laughs> yeah that's that it really sucks. Uh again, just flag this motherfucker and flag his channel.